Hello, welcome back to Somewhere in Wisconsin. Hope you guys are doing awesome. We have a little boat lighting project for you today. It's been a while since I posted anything. As you guys know, this last fall in October, uh, I got a new hull for my boat. Bought the motor in the spring. It didn't work on the original hull that I had it on. So then I put it on this hull that I bought new from Gator Tail. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this boat, but I bought it bare bones. Um, the boat itself is pretty simplistic it's got one seat pot added it's got a grab bar it's got a front deck um, and then I ordered the gas tank extra and I ordered the seat pod back here extra and I ordered the light switch and the light panel extra and then they wired the trolling motor in and they wired uh, adapter for the front mount in so it's a pretty bare bones boat, which is exactly what I wanted. It also came with the bilge, um, and it came with the nav lights. So what comes stock on this boat are the nav lights and the bilge, and that's it. And then I upgraded the wiring harness and panel to like a yak power setup, and then I ordered the gas tank, which fits under the deck really nice, the 13 gallon tank, um, and then the wiring that came with that panel. So. That's kind of what I added for the boat. But what I'm doing now is um, I'm putting some, just some LEDs underneath my rail here. And that's mostly just so I have some light at night when I'm loading and unloading the boat, coming in late, or we're just hanging out in the boat before shooting time. You can flip the lights on, chill, hang out, have a little light in the boat. So I ordered some green ones off Amazon. Eventually I might get some better lights, but I'm gonna use these and run these as long as they work. They're not that expensive. And that's kind of why I'm making this video. It's kind of a cheap way to run the wiring in your boat. So there's a few things that I'm waiting on yet, but we'll get started on this project today. The first thing I'm gonna do is sand underneath the rail of the boat. And then after I sand underneath the rail of the boat, um, I'm gonna wipe it down with some alcohol. And after it's wiped down with the alcohol, then I can just stick these lights on. Let's go in the garage, I'll show you. All right, as I said, I ordered a two pack of the lights. Um, and there, I actually have extras left over for my 17 foot boat. So you may be able to use one. I didn't know if both ends were wired. They end up, both ends were wired on this. So I could have just bought one and it would have been enough for my whole boat. I ended up buying two. Now I have enough left over for later on. But what I like about this wiring is it actually is pretty thick. Um, it seems fairly heavy duty. It also has a quality adhesive on it. So I like that it has that 3M adhesive should stick to the boat really nice underneath. And what also this kit comes with off Amazon, it comes with um, a splitter, which I wanted because I want both lights on the same switch. So it has a splitter that it comes with. Whoops, knocked my tool down. So you can see here, it's got a splitter. This will connect to my switch panel over here. And then this end will connect to my lights. So it's got the splitter. Um, that I just have to kind of wire up under my boat. Comes with a little extra wire for the boat, just in case you need it. I think maybe at least six feet extra. It's plenty for what I need it for. And it also comes with a few fasteners and a few stick-on um, wire fasteners as well. So pretty good quality setup. Um, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below for all the parts and materials I needed for this. And uh, feel free to check it out. I sanded the boat down yesterday with just a, a scrub pad. I didn't take any video of that, um, and then I wiped it down with some just alcohol. That is how I got started with this project, just by wiping the underneath. Then I stuck those lights into the boat on the underside, which is pretty simple. And now I'm just kind of wiring up my switch. I'm going to drill two holes in my hull. Didn't really want to drill holes, but kind of got it sometimes. And they're going to be hidden. I'm going to have some rubber grommets under there as well. Should be the only two I have to drill for this project, but. I will put a hole, let me flip you. I'm gonna put a hole right down under here, basically right here, drill into there, and then my wiring will go underneath and be nice and hidden. It'll connect to my switch panel, which is under there as well. So pretty slick setup. You won't even see the lights, won't even really know they're there because of where they're gonna get wired in. You can see I got that side wired in already. Here they are on the underside. You guys can take a look. So anyways, project, that's kind of what I'm working on right now on this boat. Any other upgrades to it? Oh, I also 
Um, I, normally I just buy cheap Nylites off Amazon. I'll put a link to those down below up here for my front navigation light. Show you a picture of that in a second. Those things work good, never had an issue with them, never had a malfunction or anything. And I had them on boats the last like five years. I did a light boat, lighting boat project a few years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that. You can check out that video right up here. And then, um, anyways, I bought an LED, Southern Light LED for my front headlight. I don't know why, I bought a nice boat, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna start outfitting it with really quality, high quality stuff to go on it. So, put a trolling motor on it this spring and fish finder probably next spring. But that's kind of a quick look at the boat right now. Let's go ahead and get started on this project. First thing I gotta do is get a little more space on these, on all of them. I just kind of loaded up on all my wires that I put together. See there. It took a while, but I did finally finish up the wiring project on these lights. I mean, it didn't take that long. It just took longer than it should have. I had to go get some different grommets. I had to get a different drill bit. Um, otherwise, it went pretty smooth. On that side of the boat over there, I actually kind of messed it up. I drilled a bigger hole. My grommet wouldn't go in because it was too thick of material. And then uh, I just kind of put some extra layers of shrink wrap around the wires where they go through the boat and hopefully that holds up over time and then I added a little uh, liquid tape around the hole too to make it more rubberized rather than just um, being metal on plastic or whatever but the lighting project worked out pretty good uh, as you can see right here down in this corner I added just a little I had just a little quarter inch grommet and then I ran the wire through there down underneath this side right over here and the wires will come out they kind of run under this lip there's a little lip behind here so the wires will run up on the lip and I'll connect them all up there and then my main wire will run down with this black one I'm gonna zip tie it to that black one and run it right down under there but it's hooked up to my accessory panel one nice really nice thing one thing I'm really, really glad that I ended up doing when I bought this boat 
was upgraded the switch panel. I have four extra ports to add lights on the switch panel. So that means uh, it was really plug and play. I just wired in my plug or my adapter that goes with this Yak Power underneath, plugged it in, ran it to my LED splitter, and that was it. Plug it in, it was good to go. So I'll get you guys a few uh, images of the boat once it's dark out here, but I think it turned out pretty darn good. For the most part, the wires are hidden. You can see the wires a tiny little bit right here because I learned my lesson from the other side. I went a little too close to the edge over there. But uh turned out really, really good, and I'm happy the way it turned out. Um, as far as lighting goes on this boat, I'm going to put on the headlight up front. Um, that, uh, I just need to install some rivet nuts on it, and that's plug and play as well. So once it gets dark out here, I'll show you what I finished, show you the lights on the boat, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But it worked out pretty well, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I did it. So, I mean, really, the... The actual project probably only took about two hours if I didn't have to run to the store three times and you guys know how it goes but it was a fun project looking forward to light it up it's green I had blue in my last boat we'll go green in this one and then eventually I'm probably gonna put some green rooster tail lights out the back and maybe I'll go with some green um, lights on the outside of the boat as well I don't know yet and then I also want to put some bright backup lights on the trailer too but, all right, I'll show you guys the setup here in a little while. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the boat light project. Turned out really good. One thing that made it super easy was having that Yak Power set up in the boat. Um, basically, just plug and play. I bought the lights, like I said, off Amazon. Plugged them in, ran the wiring, managed the wires, drilled a couple holes, and it was ready to go. But the lighting turned out really good. Hope you guys enjoyed that short little video lighting up the boat. My name's Chase. We're always somewhere in Wisconsin. Don't forget to like and subscribe right down below. See you on the next one.